when I look at my children, my heart swells with pride. When I think of all they are and what they have inside. But then I look around and see evil's rising tide. It lets me know I cannot leave. I must stand by their side For the sake of my children I will guard the gate And if I must stand alone I'm not going to any place While entertainers preach perversion With their fingers in our face I will lift the Holy Bible Get down on my knees I will take a stand for righteousness Whatever it costs me Our nation's lost her values Our leaders walked away So it's up to you and me To rise and stand For the children's Many are starting to ask, what has happened to our young people? Teen pregnancy is at an all-time high. Sex, drugs, and alcohol are words America's children all too many times have learned from experience. And school shootings have let us know that this nation's children have overdosed on violence through television, movies, music, and video games. Kids killing kids and teachers at the schoolhouse. And 40 years ago, teachers listed as their number one problem, gum chewing in class. Maybe the question we should be asking is, where are the parents? Where are the parents when the cable company asks if they want the movie channels in their homes and they say yes, opening up their children to the most graphic violence, the most perverted sexual activity, and an almost constant cursing of God's name. No matter what Hollywood says, our children are imitators of what they see and hear. How do you think they learn to walk, talk, and eat? If you want to protect your children, get the evil influences of Hollywood's hellish movies out of your home. Where are the parents when youngsters sit for hours being taught how to kill by violent video games? Where are the parents when rock music blares from the stereo in their children's bedroom and they sit surrounded by posters of rock's most celebrated entertainers on their walls? Mom, Dad, these songs promote rape, Satanism, teen sex, and they glorify the use of drugs and alcohol. Parents, there is no excuse for your children's heroes to be the green-haired, earring-wearing, perverted lyrics-singing, devil-promoting rock stars of this generation. Tear down the posters. Get rid of the CDs and cassettes. They have no place in the home of a child of God. And it is your home. You are in charge. And God expects you to keep it pure. I have too much invested in my children. I have loved them too much, prayed for them too long, walked the floor and cradled their fevered bodies at midnight too many times to let a government that's lost its respect for God or a Hollywood that's focused on corrupting the morals of a nation or a rock star who spits in the face of God steal the minds of my children or tell me how they ought to be raised. They are my children. This is my job and I will do my duty until God relieves me and I will do it for the sake of my children. For the sake of my children, I will guard the gate and if I must stand alone, I'm not going any place while entertainers preach perversion with their fingers in our face. I will the Holy Bible Get down on my knees I will take a stand for righteousness Whatever it calls me Our nation's lost her values Our leaders walked away So it's up to you and me to rise and stand so it's up to you and me to rise and stand 
equalizer window, low, camera, camera window,